Hey, welcome to Apple Avalanche. I did it a little bit differently than my PLTW, so hold on to your hat. Uh, my approach was to use parallel lists, and let's switch over to a little slide that I prepared. Parallel lists store information that relates to each other in some way at the same index in different lists. So. I created three lists, one of apples, which is the image that appears on the screen, let's, which is the letter associated with the apple, and drawers, which is the thing that draws the letter. And at each index is the information that draws the letter and the apple. So that all I have to do is refer to the same index in order to do the work of the problem. In the program here, I uh, set it up um, in the usual way. If you followed the exercise, please do so up to about where they introduce the problem so that you know how to use on um, key press and other methods like that. I have um, on line 12 created a letters array and laboriously entered in all the lowercase letters a to z and then i create my three parallel lists apples lets and drawers and you can see on 13 through lines 15 that these are empty so my first effort is to populate the lists so i'm going to scroll down and show you how I did that. On line 45, I will populate the uh, Apple list, which is to go from 0 to 5, not including 5, 0, and 4 are the net results, and append or add to the Apple's list that I declared up above a turtle. Uh, in the next, on line 49, I create a letter list again, going through the list of the length of apples one by one and drawing a random um, letter from the letters array, which, as you recall, is populated with values A to Z. You can see that what I do is I take um, letters. Um, index and um, give it a number and then I access uh, the value in the letters array at that index letters index and I append it to my let's list which is the list that's going to um, appear on the screen with each apple and then I pop it from letters um, before I popped it and I, I had uh, sometimes a duplicate letter appearing on an apple, so problem fixed. In line 56, I create drawers. Each drawer um, will draw the letter, as we shall see. So um, down here, uh, I create the apple list, I create the drawers, and I create the letter list. And a little look-see tells you that like I'm going to use the letter that is in the let's list um, in my key press methods. Let's zero, let's one, let's two, let's three. And finally, I'm ready to draw the apples. So let's take a look here. Recall that I had uh, five apples. So if I run it again, you can kind of see um, that it draws them one by one and puts a letter on top of them. Just call them five apples. I put five apples in the apple list. So I'm going to go through that list here and uh, select a random range from negative 130 to 200. That's about where the apple is, okay? Um, both in the X and the Y dimension, uh, set the shape of the apple to be the apple image, uh, pen up, go to the uh, random location that I chose, and then draw a letter on top of it. What I do is I send 
the index because I want to refer to the index in the let's array and the x and the y location of the apple so that the letter can be drawn on top of the apple. And let's trace that a little bit. Okay, I set the color to blue, pen up. I go to the offset of X and Y, which is the coordinates of the apple, minus 18 and 40, as the assignment suggests. Pen down and then write the value at that index. What index? The same index that contains the apple parallel lists. So when I press the character that's stored in the let's array position zero, it will drop the first apple. And it will call apple fall, which takes an index zero in the case that I'm pressing the letter at the first value and get the X and the Y coordinate and I really don't need that very much. Okay. I clear um, the drawer and pen up and send the apple down. And the clear gets uh, rid of the letter and put it down. So, um, probably get rid of this and still have it run. And so I can't. And that's the problem with changing things. Let me just run it again. R, drop, N, drop, F, drop, U, drop, J, drop. We all drop. And that's my solution to Apple Avalanche. Thank you for watching.